What's up guys, it's your boy Shadane here and today we're back with another video and today's video I'll be talking about an app that I've seen and purchased and been using for the last couple of months to take photos. Now this app is a real game changer when it comes on to iPhone photography. I know a lot of you guys have used your basic camera app and it hasn't done much for you. It doesn't let you control a lot of things and some of your settings keep resetting over time. Now I have a solution and this app is called the Alit app. Now this app seeks to basically give you more functionality and features that will help in taking professional photos or even just casual photos for you if you don't want to go pro. So without no further ado, let's get into this video. Right, guys so we are back with this video and before we get into this video i want you guys to do me a favor and go ahead subscribe and like this video please leave a comment in the comment section below because this also help in my channel being pushed to a lot more people so go ahead and do that for me and we're gonna go into the video now the first thing we want to talk about is the app and how much it costs now this app is priced at five dollars and this basically gives you a year year's membership now most of these apps have been been changing from a one-time payment to a year's membership so if you guys are but it's cost pretty low so you can definitely get the use of this app and this app is the mark II variant of this app and not the first edition now there's a couple features that this app has and it has the ability to control the the iso and also control the focus now these are three good elements in you know taking photos you want some of these features being able to do that so you can make your photos look a lot better now i've done this in multiple photos and it has helped me a lot now that's not the only feature though it has also some different file formats that really make this app stand out and that is being able to shoot in four different modes raw jpeg tiff and i think h e i c and that's the formats that it sh lets you shoot in but i suggest going with raw raw is the best and if you were using this app that's the only option you should be picking raw now raw definitely lets you play with this picture more giving you the original readout of this sensor in the iphone now what that means is you won't be able to have a pre-rendered or auto exposed image from the iphone because a lot of times the iphone tends to push a lot of those highlights or brings up the iso to basically balance out the image so the the, the sky can look good or it prioritizes your face and blows the sky out so there's either one or it makes your face look a lot dull, darker than the background so with this you can do anything with your pictures you can basically expose your face then do the background afterwards and then like do a focus bracketing and get um or should i say not focus bracketing but the iso bracketing and you can focus you can do multiple exposures and get the background and the foreground looking nice so those are options you can do as well now this app has focus speaking which is really good as well now this is good for macro photography or whatever style you're looking for because being able to control the focus and seeing where this camera is focusing this will help you in nailing focus almost all the time so i say this app is really good when it comes on to those pro level features um, being able to take control of your focus manage your iso and definitely your, your shutter speed which i like it also have an instagram on the top left corner of the screen and it lets you do a bunch of other features like manual focus it can let you, you can still do autofocus with the the app itself and you'll be able to um just pick the screen and then fix everything or you can do just full-on manual focus by yourself now there's one other feature that i like and this the interface looks really good the ui looks amazing i'll be 
tossing some of these images so you guys can see um, of how the UI looks and how easy it is to just change from what you're looking for like just manually you know dropping the ISO or you know just some of these screen gestures that it has um, for when you're taking photos you can just tap this D screen and just pull down that will adjust your ISO for your focus ring I think it's at the bottom there is a bottom section you can just swipe left and right and it will let you focus as well and that I don't think I've ever messed with my shutter speed I've mostly left my shutter speed default um, other from that I think that is basically it the app does some amazing job in taking photos okay guys so there's a few things I forgot to mention with the app and let's go over some of these features now once you've opened the app i forgot to mention the portrait mode now the portrait mode is on the left hand side the left bottom side above all the shutter buttons and everything and this just helps you in focusing a lot better and it, it's a little bit different on how the focus mode um actuates to like it looks versus the old app now it has that feature and it also has a little a little button that basically helps you to out of focus in a sense so for instance if you're focusing and you are in the manual focus it has this little plus that you can change between different modes now that mode is you have the focus loop on and then you have the auto focus loop and the focus loop off now those three modes just basically controls um the bubble when focusing with the focus we are focus wheel and that's just by yourself so that is a manual focus feature other from that you have the ability to customize the shelf of the app itself and you are able to go into the settings and you know tweak some of the stuff with settings you're also able to whenever you take a photo you can hit the instant preview that lets you preview a colored version of the photo you have taken or just taken versus the raw that's if you're in raw so there's some cool features there other from that we have the ability to mess with the exposure um mess with the the iso and just regular features that i've already talked about and then the additional one which is clicking the top right corner and hitting autofocus manual and then your zebras and then you can also hit your focus peaking on the left hand side whenever you do manual focus so that helps with it and to talk about the tap focus if you're doing manual focus and you tap the screen it will basically launch out of the manual focus and you'll be able to take over that um, autofocus once more so basically just auto switch which is nice so i think that's basically it you have white balance you have flash and some other features that i really don't use those are just like basic features for you know um like regular camera apps do so i don't think i need to talk about those but that's pretty much it i'm going to just let you see some of the um interactions with off the app itself that i've been using and i'll show you some photos mm -hmm.